Hey everybody, Morley Scott along with Dave Campbell. The Eskimos getting set to hit the road to play the Winnipeg Blue Bombers on Thursday night. We've got the broadcast for you. It'll be a 6.30 kickoff, 5 o'clock for the pregame show on 6.30. Jed, Dave, 3-0 and versus 3-0. and The hype for this one writes itself. Well, uh, you know, you don't usually get a early big game like this, but this is a big game, you know, and, and for first place in the West. And to get some control of the West early. And, and also I think it's significant for the two franchises that were the two worst franchises in the CFL last year who combined for seven wins all season. Well, they're gonna equal seven wins after this game so far this season. Eskimos 3-0, and all three wins have been come from behind victories, which means they've been behind in all three games and they've had slow starts, especially offensively. They've gotta cure that. Yeah, you know, I was talking to Darius Bowman this week and he said, our defense is playing really, really well and keeping us in game. So, you know, when we get our offense figured out, we're able to contribute. But the teams are too good in this league to, to let you get away with that for too long. You know, this team just has to come out and I think not necessarily score a ton of points in the first half. That would be nice, but, but make some plays. And they haven't been making enough plays, especially in the last two games. So it's just something where I think the offense has to find some rhythm, uh, play better mistake-free football, quarterback hitting, making the right reads, Receivers lining up properly, protection being good, and 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 uh, receivers not dropping football. Sounds so easy. Sounds so easy, doesn't it? But uh, it's been a different story. So uh, in the last two games, so the Eskimos got to find a way to change things. It's the Eskimos' second trip into Investors Group Field. It's a building that is very, very loud. Uh, they played there last year, and it was loud. That there's going to be more people, and they got a better team to cheer for. So they're going to have to deal with an awful yeah. lot of loudness going on around them on Thursday night. Well, you and I have been to the old Canada Stadium when Winnipeg was pretty good back in 2011. I remember that was 5-0 and versus 5-0. and They're rabid there. I mean, they, they love their team when their team is playing well, obviously, and that's the way it goes in sports. But with Investors Group Field, with, 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 the, with the packed house, hopefully, and with the 3-0 and team to cheer for, the Eskimos got to be really careful not to let the game get away from them or else it's going to be a very long night. Got to find a way to shut that crowd up early. Early success would help. Should be a great night. Should be a great atmosphere. Let's hope we get a great game as well. You can hear it on 630 Chet. Kickoff at 630, the pregame show with Dave and myself from Winnipeg at 5 o'clock.